Scott. So when she said that the, the sadness is over here, yep. was that was that part of the breakthrough? Yeah, there was a lot of things going on. She had a lot of knots. So we call them knots, guys. People might call it like peeling back the onion. Problems hold hands with other problems. And they're all interrelated. What we're doing is knocking over the dominoes. You know those domino things kids play with? You line them up, push one, they all fall over. If you imagine like the knots on your shoelace, we've got to untie those things because we're taking Jody to a place where there's no discrepancies, there's no issues, there's no conclusions. Just like, okay, anything's up for grabs right now. But every time she'd go looking for a solution, she'd bring all those knots with her. That's where our thinking was so was all over the place. And that's what we've just untied. Which is important that I say that. We've untied the knots. Paul untied all the knots. But what didn't we do? That is the main reason why people hire us. Solve the problem. Isn't that beautiful, guys? So by not solving the problem, you solve the problem. By trying to solve the problem, you now solve symptoms. And why the hell would you want to do that? Client's done that enough. So by trying to solve the problem, you'll fuck it up every single time because now you're thinking, you're concluding, you're making your own assumptions. And I don't know about you, I'm not good at mind reading. And I'll get it wrong 10 times out of 10. We've taken Jody to a place now where she's got choice again. Anything's up for grabs. Jody might turn around. I'm Jody, if you're listening, this is not a suggestion. Jody might turn around and say, you know what? Fuck my family. I'm going to have four more kids because I want a bigger family. That's what would make me happy. And I'm going to quit this hypnotherapy business because I really want to be a mechanic. I don't care what she does. As long as she has choice to do that thing and as long as it makes her happy. That's all I care about. I can imagine we've done a lot of these demos where a lot of students have left this and quit being a hypnotherapist because it wasn't making them happy anyway. And they went and got a full-time job and they love it. Cool. Whatever makes you happy, I'm not here to tell you you need to do this or that. It's not up to me. Does that make sense? Jody might buy an island. I don't know. I don't care what she does as long as she's happy. Uh, Monique, go for it. Um, there was one point there when um, Jody was in trance and she couldn't find the words to explain what she was yeah experiencing or feeling and you you were sort of trying to coax paul into asking a certain question or guiding him in a uh, direction but i don't think he quite grabbed it but what is it that you were suggesting there that we say or do or don't do yeah great great insight or great great um good that you pick that up so when a client's too busy trying to find the right words tell them to find the wrong ones okay if a client's too busy trying to find the right words to explain it, tell them to just find all the wrong ones and work from there. I'm taking pressure off her to try and get it right. Just fucking tell me. Even if it's one word, just tell me. Does that make sense? I'm trying to take the pressure off the client to get it right. So when a client, guys, when a client starts saying, or oh, for you, Monique, oh, I can't get the words and they're getting frustrated because they're trying to find the right way, say, no, no, just give me the wrong ones first. We'll work with that. Well, what are you feeling instead? Fuck the words. What are you feeling instead? Oh, what I'm really feeling, just get some talking again. So that's sort of where we'll, does that make sense? Yeah. Um, I just reflecting on, let's say if it was a session of mine, I would normally just sit there quietly and say, just take your time. Yeah, you could do that too. Is, yeah, is that sort of not the, not the right thing? Or? No, that's exactly the right thing. Because now you're saying if a client's trying to get frustrated finding the right words, you're basically saying, fuck the words, let's just sit there. That's more, way more important than any words you have. I just don't want my client trying to get it right because then what they do, they go conscious again because they get frustrated. I don't care about the words. What's the feeling? But would you ask them that or not ask them that? Yeah, do any of that. What I don't want to do is say, okay, um, what would the words be? Yeah. If you did know, what would it be? I hate that fucking question. <laughs> Yeah, I just yep. want to take away the frustration. Uh, Michael, oh, does that help, Monique? Does that answer the question? Cool. Uh, Michael, go for it. Hello. Thank you so much. Um, during the testing phase, uh, when you jumped in and asked the question about her dad, and you said, I can't remember the word you used, but you said there's still an association there. I didn't fully understand uh, that part. Can you speak to that? 
Yeah. Um, so you definitely had to go back and watch that. You know, she kept saying there's no connection there. That's conscious. Of course, there's a connection because if there wasn't, it would have, it would not have come up. But was it the negative uh, connection or the positive connection? Like, did you want to dissolve the positive connection between her dad wanting her, like her dad being proud of her for taking action, essentially? Yes. Okay. Because you don't want that to be the motivation. I don't care what it is. All I want to do is when she said there's no connection, I know there was. So I'm basically saying, what about that part over there? And she figured out what to do with it. Right. Right.